Hello traders and welcome to the dark cloud cover educational video. Let's start with the specs of this uh, popular bearish pattern. It consists of a long white body during an uptrend at the top area of the uptrend and is followed by a long black body that opens above the body of the previous candlestick. It opens above the uh, wide body, ideally above the high price, but it's not part of the spec, and it closes below the midpoint of the long white body. And this is, of course, it has um, bearish implications. Now, let's identify the dark cloud cover on a real chart. As you can see, at the top area of the rally, there is a long white body, and the second candlestick, even though it's a bit uh, smaller in size, it opens above the white body and closes right below the midpoint. And of course, the rest is history, as you can see on our chart. Good. Before we continue any further, please remember to subscribe below, like and comment. The first strategy is uh, identifies the uh, dark cloud cover at the top of the rally and it uh, enters the market with a sell order right below the low price of the second candlestick. It's not below the low price of the pattern as it has more risk, if you allow me to say that. I'm sure you can understand why, because the distance between the sell and the uh, stop loss is shorter compared to the distance between the low price of the pattern and the stop loss. Nevertheless, we enter right below the low price of the second candlestick of the pattern and we place a protective stop loss at the high price and of course we take the profit, we close the whole position at the next support level. I introduce this concept so you can combine it with any other concept you would like. Good. Of course, I would always say, I could easily add here, that you can close immediately your trade when you identify any reversal in the opposite direction. Good. Let's go through another strategy, which is, again, the dark cloud cover at the top area of the uptrend of the rally, we sell below the low price of the pattern this time, and of course we place a productive stop loss right above the high price of the pattern. Take profit at 200% level, and then we close part of the trade there, and we allow another part of the trade to run even lower and close it when we encounter a, any reversal in the opposite direction, like in this case where we identify a hammer. Good. Another strategy here, combine uh, the previous with an oversold oscillator, right? Our favorite oscillator. It might be RSI, it might be stochastics, it might be anything you trust. And of course, we identify our dark cloud cover at the top area of the uptrend. And we place a sell order right below the low price of the pattern and a protective stop loss right above the high price of the pattern. Now, for the take profit strategy, we use here the Fibonacci extensions, such as 161.8% to close part of the trade. Then we close another part of the trade at the 261.8%, and then we close another part of our trade at the 423.6%. And we can allow a small part of our trade to run even lower, so we can benefit from the downward momentum. But any time we identify any reversal pattern in the opposite direction, then we are forced to exit the remaining of our trade. And this is the case here where we identify a reversal pattern in the opposite direction. Good. One more strategy. And here we use the Bollinger Bands. We identify the dark cloud cover at the top area of the upper band and we enter the trade with a sell order right below the low price of the pattern. We place a protective stop loss right above the high price of the pattern, and we use here the 200% level to close part of the trade and book part of the profits, and then we close the remaining 
when the price hits the lower Bollinger Band. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something new. Stay tuned for more. See you in a while.